Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to just have a little chit chat with you while I do some food preparation um, and give you a little update on some things that have been happening around here and some things that will be happening in the future. So right now I am getting ready to have a picnic. Me and my girlfriend um, have decided to go and just kind of enjoy the weather. It's kind of like the first few days of spring, I guess, in Shanghai, and the weather has been really good this week, although I don't think it's gonna be as great for the rest of the next few days, so we decided to just go on ahead and take the time now to just have an enjoyable you know, day or whatever out in the sun. So I've been kind of MIA, I'm sure, you know, I'm. I'm kind of like that right now and it's been very sporadic. I think that I really kind of lost my way when it came to this channel as far as deciding and knowing like what I wanted to do, the type of content I wanted and then like this whole last like year when I was working at City Weekend was really, um, it just took a lot of time and energy from me and I just didn't really have the energy to put into, you know, this channel like I wanted to. So a lot of things have happened over the last few months regarding, um, you know, my life and what's been going on. The biggest change is that I'm no longer working. So what that means is I'm unemployed and I've been unemployed. Uh, since basically January, uh, City Weekend was sold in late November. We were told it was sold to a man. And um, this man promptly came in and cut half the staff immediately, like within the first week. And then he cut me and some other people on and we all got like a paycheck for December. Thankfully, I kind of saw the writings on the wall. So I, at the very beginning of January, like around the 10th, we were supposed to sign contracts. And he's like, oh, I'm coming in to sign the contracts, da 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 And then he never would do it. And I was just like, I'm not producing any more content for them until I get some type of contract because you know, he could skip town, not pay us, all types of things could happen. And long story short, around the 20th of January, he ended up saying, oh, well, couldn't close the deal. Basically, he lost all his investors or he didn't have any investors. I don't really know the ins and outs of it. And no one got a paycheck for January. So... That is kind of where I left, where City Weekend, you know, bit the dust and how it all went down in the end. And um, since then, I've been, you know, freelancing in the U.S., writing and things like that, editing essays. I just wrote something for a website called Six Tone which is a Chinese website actually. I will link it in the description box I wrote about Black Panther and race relations here in China. And I have something coming up on a website called Lenny Letter, which is owned by Lena Dunham. And I really actually like that website a lot, so I'm very, very excited. Side note, I guess I'm, I'm available for hire for any people who, you know, any editors out there who are looking for freelancers, anyone looking to have, um, you know, an editor look at their writing, you know, private lessons, anything like that, um, I can do that. <laughs> Oh, I got a new gig that's coming up. I'm very excited about this gig. I'm going to be a health and wellness writer for this website. My black women might have heard of it. Maybe some other people have heard of it as well. It's called madamnoir.com. 
I've just signed on to write some health and wellness articles for them around mental health, maybe some around diabetes, and you know, whatever else. But um, health and wellness just in general. And I'm very excited about that because um, I'm very excited about being able to kind of establish myself as a health and wellness writer a little bit more in general. I've written some articles for, you know, women's health and everyday health about around PCOS and diabetes management and things like that. So I'm excited to kind of be able to delve into that a little bit more. So please be on the lookout for that. If you, you know, if you can look, you can see that I've changed the name of this website or of this YouTube from Black Girl in the Rock to Brown and Abroad. And I'm very happy with the name change. You know, it was time and I kind of resisted for a while until I couldn't really resist anymore. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but Black Girl in the Rock was initially supposed to be a scripted show when I was living in Korea. Um, but I ended up moving from there and just kind of keeping with it. It really wasn't f for me anymore. And I had to just kind of reckon with that. And it kind of got to the point where I didn't want to say what it was because, you know, people would ask, why is it still called this and da 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 da. And it was like this big whole like ado and ordeal, you know, not just for black women. Um, but I definitely want it to be a space for women of color. I bought the domain name, so there's gonna be a website coming soon with you know comprehensive information, more service-oriented information about living in China, more service-oriented information about, I guess just about um, traveling abroad and things like that. So that is basically, you know, where I'm at with the channel. Hey, so right now we're at the park. We finally made it. And uh, I just wanted to show you all what I made. So what am I going to start with first? Okay, so I made a salad. And I don't know if you can see it. But it's just like a simple spinach salad with walnuts and apples and spinach. And to go along with it, I made us a vinaigrette. It has mustard, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, a little bit of honey. I'm really excited about that. Um, I just have some strawberries for us. Yes. Something to wash it down with, of course. But the biggest star of the show, I, you guys saw me making them, assembling them, were these sandwiches. So. I made these chickpea mash sandwiches and it's like one of my favorite things to make. I'm going to see if I can bring it in closer to you. And so it's just, you know, chickpea, red pepper, you can put a lot of things in it. Some people put like sunflower seeds in it and um, it's just a good non-meat option. So. That is basically what we have right here. So thanks so much. Um, we're going to end the vlog right now. But um, thanks for watching and please stay tuned. Bye.